We're on the trim page. You can look at the top and see where you are. Edit RAM sample trim. Okay, and our zoom level. Great. So what we want to do now is we want to go back to our DSP. Hit DSP and look what it says below. Cut, copy, paste, sample to, go, and done. Go, as we saw with normalize, is what does whatever the process is we, um, we were trying to accomplish. Okay, And done um, is when we're finished doing all, all our edits. The ones we haven't used yet are cut, copy, and paste. What we need to do is we need to actually go into the file to some area of it and select that area. The way we do it is we go to a start point wherever we want to start out selecting an area and then we hit an end point wherever we want the end of that selection to be and we set those both. So if I had a start point of uh, 50 milliseconds and an end point of 100 milliseconds then I would be selecting the area of 100 minus 50 or 50 milliseconds of something. First I need to move it into the sample somewhere. I'm gonna move it in like uh, I don't know a little over 900 uh, milliseconds because I know that's gonna be inside of this file rather than on the zero like you see it at the moment. So here I go over here to numeric keypad and I hit uh, actually I'll just hit a, a second which is one oh 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 a thousand milliseconds. Oops hit the wrong thing. Make sure you're on start. All I did was change it from normalized to something else, dynamics, different types of feedback. So I don't want to do that. I go back to it. Lots of good things it has on here, but none of which we're going to use at the moment. Come on, where's the normalize? Fine. Okay, so now we go arrow over start 1000 1000 and now I'm inside of this sample here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from 1000 milliseconds to 1050. Got to make sure I'm at the end point first though. So hit arrow over end. I don't want it to select the entire range from 1 second to uh, 2.85 seconds. That's a heck of a, a long sample to be copying. So I select a small segment, 50 milliseconds by, in the end, 1, 0, 5, 0, enter. Now I've selected from 1,000 milliseconds to 1,050. I've selected a 50 millisecond chunk. Good, so now I want to copy that. Go down here, hit copy. And the screen flashes and that's all I see. Now to show you what's actually happening, okay, I'm going to go way back further. I'm going to go back to a zero. So I get over to end. Hit the arrow, change my start point. Enter zero. And look, my cursor goes way back here again. That's where I want to paste the file. Now if I hit paste, it's going to paste it at zero and not somewhere into the file I've already made. I could paste it into the file if I want to. That's totally fine. So I hit paste. Please wait. It says that and then it pastes the file. If I do it again, it does it again. And it's going to keep on pasting 50 milliseconds at a time right in a row. So now I want to see what this actually sounds like. I'm going to change my endpoint to be, uh, I don't know, a few hundred milliseconds over here so I can include all the stuff I just pasted in there. Right now I'm just starting at zero and going to 50 milliseconds. I'm only going the length of one of them. I want to hear what all of them sound like in a row. So I can hit these buttons to go through this plus or minus. Okay, that's going to take forever. Remember, so we don't want to do that. Let's go to the numeric keypad and type in something like uh, 300, enter, which would be about six of those. No, it looks like it's about um, quite a bit more than that. So let's type in maybe 1,200 milliseconds. Too far. Whatever, we'll try for a moment. So start, the start should be zero. 
the N should be about a second. Let's change the start to uh, cancel that. Change the start to zero. Good. Takes us back there. Change the end time. Hit arrow over. To about one second. Thousand milliseconds. One oh oh oh. Enter. Much better. Okay, now if we hit the play button. It takes that little segment I've copied and plays it over and over. If I hit it lower, I can hear uh, more clearly what's going on. This little area I've taken, it's repeating it over and over again. Every time I go up an octave, it's going to play twice as fast. Eventually, you get really high in its pitches. Notice, though, that the higher ones are going to be shorter, too, because it goes through the samples faster. Low ones take a while. Okay, so I, that's how I make a stutter sample. And I can record as many of these as I'd like and paste and paste and paste them in there. I could copy and paste them into different areas. I could copy and paste different sizes. I could cut points out. All I have to do is go to a point that I want to start at and go to a point I want to end at. That creates my selection. And then copy it, cut it, or do something with it. Once I've done something with it, I can move my cursor, I can move my start point to wherever I'd like to paste that file. I could move the start point to the end and paste it over there. I could um, move it back over here where it's blinking and paste there. Wherever I put the start point, it's going to go ahead and paste that file for me.